did you ever have one of those memories that you think back on and it and it seems so simple at the time but it's actually changed the person you are today when I was younger we used to go to my nannies most Sundays after church and we'd go and have a big family dinner and we'd all be around the table and there was it was just crazy there were cousins everywhere one thing that Nani used to serve was homemade bread from her bread maker and I was probably maybe seven or eight at the time and one of my jobs was to actually take the bread and cut it up and get it ready to serve and that was like my favorite job to do over there I mean the smell of the bread it was warm from the bread maker and it just stuck with me for whatever reason and even today the thought of fresh warm fragrant bread with butter on it just that takes me back and it it reminds me of home and reminds me of my nani and my nani's been gone for a little over two years now so the memory is just really precious to me so there's just something about that homemade bread that just captures it for me so one thing that I like to do now I don't always make my own bread a lot of times I do buy it from the store but when I have the time I really enjoy making a loaf of bread from scratch not only does it remind me of family but it also allows me to give that memory to my family maybe my children someday will remember the, fr the fresh smell of warm bread there are so many memories that we can give to our families and our children just by taking a little time it doesn't have to be making homemade bread it can be anything taking them to the park something simple you don't need to spend a whole ton of money but just to invest into your family's lives and to take that time like I always say to live purposefully take that time to really invest in your family now that I know that's a struggle we all are busy and we struggle with it in our own family but it's something that's very important to us because in the end that's what they're going to have when our kids grow up and leave the house that's what they're going to think back on I've been on the hunt for a good recipe for a few years now I just haven't been able to find the one that I like but I finally did find one that um, I like and my husband likes and actually makes good sandwiches too so I found this on Pinterest I will link it in the comment box below and here's the recipe the first thing I'm going to do is combine the water the yeast and two cups of the flour in my mixing bowl here I'm going to mix these together just a little bit in the mixer to combine them. Just a little bit. Now I'm going to let this sit for about 20 minutes and I will come back and check on it. Now that this has had some time to form a little bit of a sponge, I'm going to add the oil. Now the honey. The salt. And finally the flour. I ran out of whole wheat flour so I'm using half white flour just some all-purpose I'm going to start mixing this with the paddle
and you'll see that it started to clear the sides of the bowl so I'm going to switch over to the dough hook um, if you don't have a stand mixer like this you can also at this point turn it out onto a floured surface and knead it by hand for about 10 minutes So I'm going to switch over to the dough hook now and let this knead for about seven minutes. If you see that it's still too sticky, add a little bit of flour, a couple tablespoons at a time. Um, as well, if it's too dry, you can add water the same way, just a little bit at a time until it's slightly tacky but not sticky. So let's get that going. Okay, now I had to add a little bit of flour to the dough. I mean it's still just a little bit sticky but not too bad. So the next thing I'm going to do is dump this out onto my lightly floured counter. This recipe makes two loaves, so I'm going to try and divide it as evenly as possible. Um, that's pretty close. I have my two bread pans sprayed and ready to go. I'm going to now I've, this is a trick that I've learned from this recipe. I never did the shaping before. So, but real easy to do. Just kind of make it into a oval, just about the length of your pan. And then into a rectangle. And then roll it up and pinch the seams. Excuse the sink gurgling in the background. Sorry about that. And then we roll up the ends. And these go seam side down right into the pan. Now we'll do the other one. Um, and I used to use a bread maker all the time, um, but my bread maker actually has died. So I'm learning the art of hand shaping the bread, and I think I really like it. And I like also the control it gives me with the baking time. Um, the bread machine is very convenient, so it's just kind of whatever floats your boat. But I really don't know that I will be buying one in the near future. So again, roll it up, pinch the seams closed, and then turn the ends. And 
and you'll see they're not perfect. They're not going to look like a bakery loaf. But it works for me. And now I'm just going to cover these with a clean towel and let them rise for about an hour or an hour and a half depending on how warm the kitchen is. And we'll check back with these in a while. Take a look at the bread and see what it's doing. And they have risen nicely. This one is obviously quite a bit bigger than this one. So I don't think I divided them quite evenly, but that's all right. Um, it has been closer to two hours. I got sidetracked and forgot about doing this. So it's not really needing to be too accurate on the timing of the rising, just until they're above the pan some. And I did preheat my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, during the last 15 minutes while these were rising. So these are going to go into the oven on the middle rack for 30 minutes and if you need to you can turn them about halfway through. It's been half an hour and these beauties just came out of the oven. I wish you could smell this. I'm going to take these out of the pans now and put them on a rack to cool. When they are all the way cool, you can slice them. What I like to do is cut them in half and put them in freezer bags and put them in the freezer for the week. Since they don't have any preservatives in them, they only stay good for a couple days. So that seems to work out best for us. Or you can, like I said, serve them right away. There's just something about homemade bread. <laughs>